Good morning, modern steaders. You ready for school, Livies? I guess so. You knew he was coming from somewhere? He's lurking. Oh, don't bite. Hey, don't wet my hair. <laughs> Have a good day at school. Bye. Love you. How's everybody doing this morning? I keep forgetting to set up their roosting poles. Uh, hopefully I remember to do that today. If I don't, put it in the comments and remind me. You still got grain left over from yesterday. So there's grain in there from yesterday, but now they're eating like they haven't had food for a week. I've noticed when you have livestock and you're feeding them, or any animals, doesn't matter how much food they've had, they're gonna keep eating and acting like you haven't fed them for a week. We get a lot of comments on camera about need to up their feed and stuff. The animals get plenty of feed, they just always act like that. Such strange weather we've been having. We've got so much snow in November. And now that it's December, it's raining out. Man, this is crazy. Yesterday we got almost half an inch of rain, and who knows how much we're gonna get today. It's been a little warmer the last few days. I wanna see if I can show them out some of their poo before it freezes like a solid block. I'm gonna need my pitchfork, I think. All right, now we got the right tool for the job. <sighs> Being under the roost, this is where the heavy manure gets because they sleep at night on the roost and they poop. Most of this is just hay and straw. A little bit of manure mixed in, but not a lot. That'll work. Now being out here, the chickens will peck and scratch through it, so we'll put a little bit of feed in it and we'll encourage them to do it. We got five nice clean eggs again. Five's been our lucky number all winter. Going back in now, Moose. It's clean for you. Last week I built a Yeti for our goat's water. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to that video right here. But as I was building it, I got inspiration for building a Yeti for our chicken's water. We live in northern New Hampshire, and we can get pretty cold in the wintertime. We had a white Thanksgiving this year. We've had about two feet of snow on the ground since sometime in November, and I'm sure we're gonna get to 20 below zero Fahrenheit this winter. So I've been making some DIY Yeti waterers for our animals. I did the ones for the goats last week. It's been working great so far. Now we're gonna make some for the chickens. The chickens is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna use an old tire for the base and then a rubber waterer. The nice part about the tire and this rubber waterer is they're black and that's gonna help attract sun. Some of our chickens are in a greenhouse, so being in the greenhouse, the tire should heat up and hold the heat and keep the water from freezing even longer. 
but we're also going to fill the tire with foam so they're going to have like their own yeti this will do a few things it'll help hold the heat to keep it warmer it'll keep it so the cold air from the ground isn't right on the bottom of the water and i find that's usually one of the biggest problems is the ground contact don't mind my messy basement until we get a barn and a workshop built the basement is our storage laundry room pluto's hangout spot wood heat and our office and a workshop so it's a little messy sometimes no judging we have two different chicken flocks so i'm gonna make two of these waterers oh, i love that word waterers just sounds so funny coming off my tongue so we're gonna i have a piece of quarter inch luon that measures 18 and a half by 34 so we're gonna cut it in half this step is only if your bowls fall into your, your tires. So after I marked the diameter of the bowl, now I'm going around it and I'm taking the width of my finger and tracing the inner circumference and that's the line I'm going to cut on. might have to trim it up or not I like it all right so what I can do now is cut this in half and mimic the same thing I want to get them inside the tire Trim off the corners. This is a filler to hold the foam. Let's see. Foam, foam, and foam. Awesome. Make sure it's somewhat centered. Never screwed into rubber before. But it seems to be holding. Alright guys, again, don't tell Gina. I'm taking her saran wrap. The saran wrap from the kitchen's got many uses. This will keep the foam from sticking to the bowl. I found out on the goat water it works fairly well. Let's see which way works better. This one's sitting on a piece of three quarter inch pine board. I'll set this one on a bucket. Yep, that's what I was afraid of too much weight on the piece of lube on. <sighs> Not liking how the screws are holding into the rubber. So I'm going to try stapling it. Staples seem to be working a lot better. I think that'll work a lot nicer. Perfect. I'm going to do the same thing to that other one. Staple it and then set it up on top of a bucket. All about trial and error and learning from your mistakes. Your mistakes aren't your failures. You don't fail until you quit.
We're gonna fill the tires with great stuff expanding foam. Putting about half a can in each tire and then we'll let it cure. We'll let the tires sit and the foam expand and dry and then later on we'll come back and we'll add some more. This morning when I was out milking Willow I noticed that they used up all their goat minerals and their kelp. All I'm thinking of is let's go down and replenish some of their minerals for them. Now this time of the year is going to be really important for the goats to have all their minerals because they're not able to forage. They're relying on hay as their feed source. You smell the minerals? So that's our seaweed or kelp meal. And in here we have, this is Mana Pro goat mineral. They're smelling it. No? I figured you'd be going right to it and eating it up. Did you just have some buttercup? How was it? Yum, huh? Can hear you crunching on it there, Blossom. Well, I was like, what is it? If you kids are eating it, I gotta have some too. So right here we have the goat mineral we just put in. Then I have baking soda, a salt rock, diatomaceous earth, and then seaweed or kelp, whatever you'd like to call it. Better put a few more sticks of firewood in there. It's starting to rain out again. Aww. Aww. How was school today? Good. How was uh, band practice? Awesome. Yeah. Don't fall down. Okay, Willow's calling you. Oh, hi. Does Willow still stink? I don't know. I couldn't smell her. Can't smell her yet. Mm. Will, let me smell you. Can I smell you, Willow? Willow. Woo! She's like, no. I don't want you to tell me I smell funny. A little bit. A little bit? Oh, your snow is melted off. Darn it. No sliding down it. Starting to see grass in the goat pen. And mud everywhere. Yuck. Did they eat a lot of their, eh, they ate some of their goat mineral and they ate a decent amount of the seaweed. They love the seaweed. I just filled up the seaweed and the goat minerals this morning. They were all out.
one time because it's raining. So almost every week we'll make a batch of bone broth when we cook a whole chicken and it stays in the refrigerator without canning for about a week and if we have leftovers we give it to the animals because it's super healthy for us and it's just as healthy for them. So we didn't use that much last week and I'm going to make a new batch. And I thought these chickens and ducks would love it. Some good stuff, huh, Randy? Andy wants it all for himself. Andy, sharing is caring, mister. You need to share. They're all gonna gang up on you if you don't quit it. We cooked up one of our whole chickens today. And we'll get the meat for dinner and leftovers and we'll make the bone broth with it right now. Added about 10 cups of water, add some salt in, put some more great stuff in these tires and then hopefully we can get them finished tomorrow. What do you want, mister? You want to come in? Come on. While I was watching that bone broth being made, while I was editing the video, it gave me quite a few different ideas of what we're gonna be making for dinner tonight. It's cold outside, and it'll go good with the weather. We hope you guys go out and make today a great day. And remember, the past is the past, the future is ours. Let's go and get it, and we'll see you guys right back here at the next video.